Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing kind of a different video. I'm going to be doing like advice and tips on starting a YouTube channel and like uh, tips on like trying to make your videos better and stuff. Um, I mean, I'm not the most like experienced person on YouTube. Um, I don't have a lot of subscribers either, but I've been watching videos for a long time and I've picked up on a lot of things that I think would help you if you want to start a YouTube channel and it or if you're already making videos. Um, so first, if you're starting a channel, you want to pick a good username that like has to do something with your videos. Like with me, I kind of don't really like my username that much. I wish I'd pick something else, but like if you're making like beauty videos and stuff, you can make your username have something to do with that. Uh, so that's the first thing. Um, and also when you first make your channel you could try and like make the little banner at the top like a cool picture and stuff and make your little profile picture and everything. Um, just something that has to do with your channel and everything. Uh, the next thing is tr like actually making your videos. Um, so when you're making videos you gotta try and have pretty good quality videos. Um, I mean, like, if you're first starting out, you don't need to go and buy a really expensive camera. When I first started making videos, I just used my iPod, um, and you could do that, or you could use your phone or something else. But what I would advise to do is try and set it up so that you have good lighting, and maybe try and film during the daytime when it's bright out. You could maybe even try to film in front of a window in my room. I can't really do that because my windows are pretty high up. I would have nowhere to put my camera, really. Um, but tr you could try and film in front of a window or even film outside if you want. Um, but if you're just doing like me, just turn the lights on in your room and make it bright so that people can see you. Um, and also try and put your camera at an angle that like looks good and everything and makes your background look good. Um, so yeah, and I mean if you want you could try and buy a nicer camera like the one that I have right now. Um, is better for like taking pictures and stuff, but it was probably between about a hundred and two hundred and fifty dollars I mean, it's not a lot, but I mean it is a lot more um, Another thing that would be good is to try and get an editing software um, If you want to edit your videos, I know that would help a lot. Um, I know a lot of computers um, Might come with an editing software like I know Mac computers have iMovie and if you have like an iPad or an iPod, you could download iMovie to edit your videos and stuff. Um, the editing software I got was like $100, which is a lot. You don't, you wouldn't have to like get something like that, but I mean, it would, it would be good if you did. Um, and another thing is when you're making your videos, try and like, talk loud and stuff because I know sometimes if I'm watching a video and someone's talking really quiet it gets kind of annoying because you can't hear what they're saying and everything. Um, and another thing I wanted to say when you're making your channel um, you have to try and like even before you start your channel you just got to try and think like if you're gonna have time to make videos because I know like if I go on someone's channel and I see they haven't uploaded in like two weeks or a month I probably won't subscribe to them because it gets kind of an annoying if they only upload like a couple videos and stuff so try and make sure you're consistent with uploading I'd say upload like at least once a week probably at the least because if you upload any less than that, people might get bored and they might unsubscribe to you or they might not subscribe at all, you know? Um, so I'd say at least once a week, but I like to upload every two to five days. So uploading like two or three videos a week, I think that's probably the best. Um, but I mean, if you don't have time for that, once a week is probably good. And you could even say set a day and tell your viewers like, oh, I'm going to upload every Tuesday or every Friday or something like that. Um, I think that would really help. And another thing, um, I'm not really sure if this is true, but I think that you can only set up your own thumbnail pictures if you're a YouTube partner. I don't know, because I can't put my own thumbnail pictures on my videos, 
but what I like to do is like it'll give you like three um, suggestions like for pictures you can use and I try to pick the best one that looks the best for that video um, sometimes none of them are good which is really annoying but if you try to pick the best one it it'll probably be good um, another thing I thought I would talk about is if you try to make like social media sites for your YouTube channel like um, making like a Twitter account or an Instagram or maybe Vine, I don't know about that, or like a Facebook. I think any of those would help you on YouTube because I know like I have an Instagram for my YouTube. Um, and if you put the link to your channel um, in like the info or the description of your account, then people might look at it and be like, oh hey, I really like your pictures, maybe I should check out your videos too, and they might even subscribe to you if they like your videos. Um, so I think that that would really help. Um, and another tip that I have is if you're going to make like a Twitter and Instagram or something for your YouTube channel, try and make your username the same as your YouTube username because then it'll be a lot easier for people to find it because I know a lot of YouTubers that I know they have a different name for their Instagram and stuff and it gets really confusing. But if you try to make it the same, then people will be able to find it and they can follow you on there and everything. And you can also keep people updated with when you upload new videos, especially on Twitter and Facebook and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the tips that I have, um, just tips on when you're, like, about when you're going to start a YouTube channel and when you're making videos. Those are the tips that I have. Um, I kind of wish I had known that stuff when I first started because my videos when I first started weren't very good. If you go back and watch them, they're kind of sad. Um, I actually kind of privated a lot of my old videos because they were really bad. Um, but yeah, I really hope these tips and like advice and stuff helped you a lot. Um, it would have helped me a lot when I first started YouTube. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye.